Hello, welcome to Ingram's Water and Air Equipment. We're going to show you a step-by-step -step process for installing your new energy efficient geothermal system. With a little patience, we've found this installation to be fun and very rewarding on the utility bill, as well as receiving a $2,000 tax rebate at the end of the year. The first step of installation is digging a trench at least six feet deep. While the trench is being dug, begin making a horizontal loop system with polyethylene plastic pipe. You'll notice that we have a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood with one 2 by 2 stood upright three feet apart on each side. This allows us to keep a consistent 36 inch loop. You'll need to allow enough pipe to accommodate the length entering the compression fitting header. Once we've determined this length, we start to make the slinky loop with the set marks on the plywood 18 inches apart for the width of each loop. Once the loop is set in place, we use plastic zip ties to hold firmly in place. You must place the loop at least 6 feet deep in the ground with each trench being at least 8 to 10 feet apart from each other. The track hole bucket is 3 feet wide, which makes this a good fit for the 3 foot slinky loop. Just a reminder, make sure you know where any water or electrical lines are buried in the yard. We have estimated a 65 foot trench for 600 feet of slinky loop. This will vary depending on the length of pipe needed to enter the header manifold. Now's the fun part, dropping the completed slinky loop in the trench. You'll need to have a long pole to push the loop in the trench straight. Make sure you mark the supply and return loop. The second step, filling the pipe with water and connecting to the header manifold, this is a non-pressurized system makes it different than conventional geothermal pressurized systems. Now it's time to hook the supply and return to the unit and the QT flow center and adding the propylene glycol. You'll need to kick the power on and start to pump adding water or glycol to the flow center, then hooking the power from the QT flow center to the contactor on the unit. Once you start the unit up, check for any leaks in the header. If you get a leak in the header, no worries. Turn the pump off and adjust the pipe entering the header. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to call us 24-7 at 1-800-360-1569. Please visit our website at www.betterwayac.com for more information or to purchase a new energy-efficient geothermal system.